if you're struggling and you're stuck and you don't know what your next move is and you're getting depressed because of it and you don't know what option to take there's all these things available to you you're getting overwhelmed you're having these fears now of being a failure and not living up to your expectations I'm here to tell you that's completely normal <laughs> completely normal being anxious and hesitant and fearful is normal. If someone told me this a few years ago, my life would have been very different, right? Because I kind of had this idea in my head that fear, hesitation, anxiety, all these things are unnatural and they're characteristics of being weak. So I cannot feel these emotions because I'm not a weak person. My self-identity was that of a strong person. But really, I was just being weak. And I did a lot of weak things in that mindset. What's going on, people of the internet? It's your boy, John. Coming back at you with another video. Look at the baby face, man. God damn. It's the first time I'm recording myself without my beard. So, hell yeah. And we've got this uh, shitty cowboy hat that I bought for under one pound. <laughs> Fucking bargain, mate. Fucking bargain. I got a question from someone the other day. And they said, how do you find your passion? All right? How do you actually find it? Because everyone says you should find your passion. If you listen to Steve Jobs, he says that you're going to undertake the great challenging enterprise of becoming an entrepreneur then you need to really want to create something valuable right whatever it is and most of the time in leadership and in business it works the same way if you genuinely have something you wish to contribute and you can see that there's a, a gap in the market but you're like Nobody else is doing this. I'm the only one that has this idea right now. You should make it happen. Same thing with leadership, right? If your leader is incompetent and they're stupid and they're making bad decisions for the company and people, then that's where you come in. You feel that there's a need for a change and you implement that change. You become the leader in that department, in that niche. Again, business and leadership are very much the same thing, right? It's all about seeing an opportunity and taking the initiative and not being the last one to know about it. You have to find a burning problem that needs to be solved. And you have to be the only one that can solve it. Now, when we talk about passion, it really depends on what context are we talking about. Are we talking about a career? Are we talking about your career? Because if you're talking about your career and passions for your career, well, that logic that I just provided for you, where it's a problem that needs to be solved, that's what you need to think about. Where are problems where you feel that you want to solve them and you can see a market for it and you're like, all right, this is where I'm going to provide my services. Look at what a carpenter does. A carpenter sees that people need houses to be built, all right? And they require wood and structures and all this stuff. So a carpenter becomes really skilled at being a good carpenter. His trade is everything to his livelihood. He produces good quality wood, he maintains a good friendly atmosphere. He makes the experience of doing business with him very pleasurable. And that's how he gets clients and that's how he gets customers. So meditate on that. Meditate on what is it that I like? 
what is it where there's a bit of a challenge involved where I don't really know how to do this thing but the act of doing the thing is what's engaging to you and the fact that you can't figure out the problem causes you to be so self-absorbed well, not self-absorbed but just absorbed in the activity that you're doing like a, a nerd that's just obsessed with solving a coding problem it's a bit like that if you find something like that where you can see that there's an issue and you're like no i have to solve this problem i have to be the one that gets it done then that burning desire to conquer the problem is where your business idea is I mean, I can talk about this stuff all day, but really all I want from you is to think a little bit. Think a little bit about what is it that I actually like? Where are my curiosities? And don't search for an answer. Don't try and think, oh, I need the answer now. I need to know what I want. I need to know what I like. I need to start taking action. You need to take action, yeah. But the action isn't what you think it is. The action is something that you're interested in. It's a curiosity. Maybe you're interested in how the brain works, and you're like, how does the brain work? But, ah, oh, it's, it's too much, it's a waste of time. It's not gonna make me money. It's only for PhD students. It's too, too, too hard for me to learn, forget about it. Well, these are the excuses we tell ourselves when we feel resistance to the next step. And again, I'm always gonna say go in and take the action as opposed to be reserved and conservative and timid. Bold action is always preferred over timid hesitation. It doesn't do anything for you, timid hesitation. It doesn't bring you any value. You just stay safe. But in the end, that safety that you create for yourself turns into a cocoon of self-imposed mental illness. And that's the truth, buddy. Hey, I saw you there man, how you doing? So if you're going through the channel and you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, give a video a thumbs up. Let the algorithm know that you like this stuff. And then that makes me know that you like it and you wanna hear more of that stuff. Especially comments. Subscribers, you can subscribe if you like the channel or whatever, but really it's the comments. I wanna know what you think, I wanna know what you feel about certain things and tell me your ideas tell me what you think about the world